Hey everyone, uh, Dustin here, and today I'm going to chat quickly about the new um, marking menus for proxy rigs. So before there were uh, the marking menus for controls, for doing mirroring poses and uh, flipping poses, batching um, selections, all sorts of cool stuff. And so some of that functionality has been extended and um, brought over to the proxy setup. So Previously, to do many modifications to your proxies, you had to kind of switch back and forth quite a bit um, between like creating and the fitting menus, and uh, you could expand this over so you can kind of have both together at the same time. Um, but it does eat up a lot of screen space. So uh, I figured, well, let's go ahead and do something similar with what we did with controls. So here's the uh, waitress model by Francois Bouquet. Uh, hopefully I'm not butchering his last name too bad. And um, I'm going to go and just do some tweaks to it. So I'm going to launch the marking menu from uh, the Rapid Rig Modular 3 shelf. And I'll just go in here and I'll just do the default middle shift control. Um, middle mouse button. And we'll do that. And so now with that enabled, if I go in here and I bring that up, you can see I get this saying select RM controls or proxies. So if I select any of my proxies, now I get uh, information relative to um, those proxies. So for example, let's say I'm getting the, the wrist into the correct location here. Somewhere like that. And I'm gonna rotate it just to kind of fit it more or less. Get it the right angle. Okay, so now rather than having to go to the UI to mirror it, I can just simply with that selected shift minimal Click mirror, and then I can say um, left to right for the branch, selected or module. So I'll do that for the whole branch, and that will flip everything over. So that's the same as if you were to go into here and you were to say, you know, click one of these um, and then do left to right, for example. But um, yeah, we can now do that through the marking menu. And uh, we can also set the priorities. So right now, if you drag select, it's going to grab everything. Um, but if I have any proxy selected, I can uh, set proxy priority. So I can say set it to high. So now when I drag select, it only grabs the proxies. Um, grab one here, and then we'll switch that back to, oops. Um, we'll do low priority. So now the mesh will get higher priority of selection over the proxies. So I'll just switch that back to the defaults. Yeah, default, there we go. And now everything's back to normal. Um, so yeah, just some other things we have in here. Um, We'll talk about the auto aim in a second, but yeah, you can mirror, you can pin. So let's say uh, I want to pin this module because I'm happy with where it is and I want to be able to move the wrist. So right now, if I were to move the wrist, actually, let's go ahead and turn the priority back to high. So it'll make it easier for me to grab. So if I grab you know, the wrist and move it around, it's going to move the thumb. So I could grab anything from the thumb and I could say pin and I'll just choose pin. And now if I grab uh, the wrist, it'll keep it there. And then when I'm ready, I can unpin it and then now I can move it again. So let's undo that. Uh, and uh, we also have, uh, you can do your save loads. You can update the proxy rig. If you want to get latest, you can delete selected modules. If I choose delete, I can say uh, selected modules, proceed if I want to get rid of it, bring that back. I can also choose to delete the whole thing from here. Again, it'll warn you, then it'll nuke the whole thing. So again, just saving you some screen real estate if you want to not have to go back and forth between here, you're editing and you want to quickly mirror, you don't have to leave the create or edit um, parts here. Uh, so the other thing that's kind of handy that's pretty new with the marking menu is now I can do some more context sensitive stuff. So you'll see that when I right click or when I bring up the marking menu for um, FK controls, there's this auto aim FK proxies. So let's say uh, I'm working on the thumb here and I'll kind of get the angle correct that I want. And so let's say I translate this in here, get that in there for the first joint. And then, um, yeah, maybe I'll just twist it. So it's a little bit more like that. And then I don't want to have to like aim this every single time to get the other ones in place. I can certainly do that, but let's say I just want to grab this one move it into place and then grab this end one, move that into place as well. Kind of the last knuckle, knuckle of the thumb, excuse me. 
And then I'll go in and position that. And then, so you can see that these are not really aiming at the next one. Exactly. So let me just hide my mesh. So we can see that this is pointing here. Um, this one's pointing out that way. So what I can do is if I grab these, I can go auto aim. And then what that will do is it will just get it pointing directly at the next child. So uh, just another quality of life thing for, actually I could do it for that one too. I actually did that one. So yeah, um, and it's pretty versatile. So, you know, like let's say you had one way down here, one way over here, one way here. Um, it will try to find the best way to angle those um, based on their angle relative to each other. So then I'm going to go here and there we go. So you can see that this one is pointing at that one, this one over there, all while trying to keep that, you know, that Y up or that little arrow upward. Um, and then, yeah, so once you're happy with that, you can go ahead and um, flip this over to the other side. So we can say uh, left to right for the branch, which only does those. Uh, so what I could do is just grab the bottom one here and just do mirror. And I'll just say uh, left to right for branch, and that will go through the whole hierarchy and flip them over. So yeah, that's kind of uh, what's new here. Um, obviously, if you grab something in the middle, um, it doesn't mirror, but you can mirror its branches, for example. So say, for example, I were to bring this up and... Oops, there we go. Something like that. And I were to grab the leg over here, right? So if I were to grab the one of the spine joints and I say mirror, the whole branch, it'll grab everything that's there. And obviously didn't grab this leg. So if I grabbed, you know, from here and I mirrored that whole branch, that should do everything. So there we go. So just little quality of life improvements. It should speed up uh, placing your proxies.